Okay, cool. So now, I'm when I'm going to execute the program. So what happened? Ah, first it's going to allocate a memory location for me. Then the memory location name will be the class name, and then get some hexadecimal number will be there. Okay. So always first what will happen? The first memory which will be loaded into the memory is the static pool. Static pool is the first memory which will be loaded here. Static pool will be loaded. Then in the static pool, what are the members will be loaded? I told all the static members. So what are the static members we have here? Static int i is equal to 10. Then my main function also is a static function only, static member only. So my main function also gets loaded into it. Sir, quick question, sir. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Always the main function will always be static? Yes, correct. Always your main function is static only. Okay, because then only main is an I told you it's an executable function. Correct? Huh? If it loads inside the static pool, then only it will start to execute at the beginning. Okay. It's also a syntax also. Main is also a main function, is a static and also it will have with some arguments. Okay. Okay. So now the main function is loaded. Now what will happen? First your main starts to execute. So when the main function starts to execute, for that a local memory will be created. A local memory for main. Okay, a local memory for main will be created. So from where from the static pool, it has been created. So then next for me, the main function start to execute. When the main function start to execute. So first system dot out dot print and then I. That is I'm referring only with the variable name. When I give it as I, it goes to the main function and searches whether do we have I variable here? No. Then after that, where this main function has been created from the static pool. So comes to the static pool. Do we have I variable here? Yes, the value of it is 10. So 10 will be loaded into it. Okay, then i is equal to 20. When I give i is equal to 20, what is this? This is reinitialization. Now it comes over here. Do we have any i variable here? No. If you don't have anything, again comes to the static pool. Here, do we have i variable? Yes, that is 10. Now that will be replaced with 20. Now that I will be replaced with 20 here. Then next, system dot order printer in I. Again, the control will come to the main function. Do we have I variable? No. From where the memory is created, static pool comes here. Do we have I variable? Yes. 20 will be printed. Anyone has any questions so far on this? Everyone understood why it's going to the static pool? I just want everyone from the chat, chat windows. Yes, if you have understood this question, just still know the first three steps. Everyone understood? Uh, I want from everyone, guys, please ping me in the chat windows. Yes, uh, Shweta, Divya, Ashala, Shmigan, Manjari, Haneli. Okay, cool. Now next, integer i equal to 50. Now what's happening? I'm trying to declare an initialize a variable where it's inside a main function. So it creates me a variable where in this main function. It creates me a variable. Okay, where inside the main function. So next, um, Parachi, I'll just explain you. Uh, your, I'll, uh, I'll just come back to you for your question. Then system dot out dot print print i now when i give here as variable as i what will happen it comes to the main function here it checks do we have i variable yes we have what is the value of it that is 50. now 50 will be printed that's it okay because now we have the locally we have the variable called i so that's why it goes here if you don't have the variable name called i then when it goes to the static pool if we have the preference will be taken from here. Then now i is equal to i plus 20. So first i plus 20. So what is the i right now? That is 50. So that is 50 plus 20. 
that will be 70 that 70 is stored over there with inside the i variable so comes here checks whether do we have i variable yes that 50 now it will be replaced with 70 that 50 will be replaced with 70 now then system dot filter in i so now again comes here to the main function do we have i variable yes value will be 70 Then next, i is equal to global underscore. Uh, guys, uh, everyone understood why it's taking when I refer i right now, why it's taking from main function right now? Everyone understood? Please ping me in the chat windows. Yes, if you have understood this step also. If anyone has any questions, let me know now only. Cool. Uh, Balaji, you have a question. Huh? I'll unmute you. Yeah, but main is also is uh, main yeah. is also is. Ah, tell me. Yeah, <coughs> main is also is static, right? Correct, correct. Then why it's uh, allocating memory separately for me? Because this is main is what it's a function, correct? Correct. When I want to execute the function, for that function a memory will be allocated for. Me. Getting so yes. these things are actually what variable. Okay, so for variables also actually inside the main function there is another memory which is the main. Inside the static one there is another memory which is called i static in type. Understood? For everything yes. there will be memory location will be present. Understood, Banerjee? Yeah, you got it. Okay, so now next. Now, from our side, here we are going to do i is equal to global local 2 dot i. What is the global local underscore 2? That's a class name. So, I'm referring the i variable with the reference to a class name. When you refer with the help of a class name, directly the search will go to the static pool. And what is the i value right now? That is 20. Now, that 20 will come here. 20 plus 20 20 plus 20 so that value will be what 40 so that will be stored where in the i variable so when I refer only variable name search will go to the main function what is the i value right now that is 70 but 70 now it will be replaced with 40 that's what clear the 70 will be replaced with 40 then after that system dot print and i so only referring with variable i comes to the main function what is the i value right now that is 40 so 40 will be printed so 40 is printed for me right now global local underscore 2 dot i so now I'm referring with the help of a class name. When I refer with the help of a class name, directly search will go to static pool. So what is the value of i that is 20? 20 will be printed. Then global local 2 dot i is equal to global local 2 dot i plus 25. So what is global local 2 dot i comes to the static pool? What is the i value that is 20? So 20 plus 25 plus 25 20 plus 25 so that will be stored inside the global local 2 dot i that is in the static pool level so refer with class name always it will go to the static pool so there 45 will be stored right now Clear? Anyone has any questions so far? Shweta, you have? Okay. Uh, yes, Shweta, you have a question? Uh, Shweta, I'm not able to hear you. Uh, can you uh, ping me in the chat window? Uh, no, Shweta, I can't hear you. 
can you ping me as what is the question i'll check your uh, uh, mic once Okay, you just ping uh, before that. I'll just execute. So then next, i is equal to global local two dot i plus twenty five. So global local two dot i means what? Right now for me, go to the static pool. What is the i value that is forty five? So forty five plus twenty five. So that will be stored over there where in the i variable. So only if I refer with variable name. it goes to the main function what is my i value right now that is 40 that will be right now changed to 70 45 plus 25 will be what 70 so that 70 will be stored in the i variable now that's what clear then next system dot print i only if i refer with variable name comes to the main function what is i value 70 global local 2.i so referring with the help of a st static uh, sorry refers to a class name goes to the static pool what is the i value right now that will be printed uh, any questions so far for anyone it should display 10 for global local 2.i so the global local 2.i what's happening is the latest value only will be taken correct huh? so when you refer with actually what global local 2.i it goes to the static pool then what is the i value right now for me that current value will be taken if i want to override it i'll be giving global local 2.i is equal to some value okay any questions so far for anyone understood guys everyone understood this concept So now, if we run this program, sorry, I'll just come here. Right-click, run as Java application on this case. So ten, twenty, fifty, seventy. So if you come to this place, ten, twenty, fifty, seventy. Then after that, we have from ten. Then forty, twenty, forty, twenty, seventy, forty-five. So forty, twenty. Then after that, here it is seventy. Then right now for this one is forty-five. That's it. System load of Newton I that is forty. Then the next one is twenty. Then next one is seventy. Then it is forty. That's it. Okay. This is how a normally a program will be executed. The basics of it. Again tomorrow we'll see a little bit of complicated one, so that you will have a clear understanding as to how variables will be. Utilized in the memory location. Yeah. Any questions so far, guys? For anyone, has any questions? Okay. So I'm gonna send you two videos. One is right now, which we have taken right now. That video I'll send. Then another one actually what the same thing for the variables. How we are going to create an object and then we are going to utilize. So how we are yeah, going to do that concept? I will explain. Okay, I will be sending you two videos for today. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So tomorrow, same time, we'll we'll see. And then I have sent uh, uh, my account details to everyone, so you can uh, add my account details over there to your account. And then you can just uh, pay the fees, and then you can send me a screenshot to my WhatsApp. 
number or you can send me a mail okay so uh, you can send me a mail so based on that i will have an understanding that who has done that make sure you take a screenshot and then send to me and intimate me on the day when you have uh, done the payment so then only i can refer it okay thank you thanks two more will be the same thank you